Hey everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft world. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work over by this project over here. TNT Town, that's right. Every time I come and work on this project, I say it looks a little bit a little bit lifeless, I guess you could say, and just not really there. So that's what I kind of want to try and transform in the next few episodes. In the last couple of episodes, we've been working over here by this kelp farm project, and I'm super happy with how this turned out. I think it feels really, really awesome in here. It's really alive, I guess, and yeah, I just really love it. And I feel like that flair is just kind of missing from TNT Town. I don't know, it's just not quite quite as nice in this place now is it now i think there's a few reasons for this and this is going to have to be done across quite a few more episodes but that's what i want to do i want to spend the next few episodes trying to spruce this place up a little bit and trying to make this place just look a lot more alive and a lot more part of the main world i guess but the first thing we're going to shift our focus to is this building here because i mean if we look at the front it looks pretty decent i'm pretty happy with how it turned out but if we go to the side you can see yeah it's just a facade on the front and that's because i don't think i ever actually finished the episode where i built this i went back and took a look that was during a period where i just wasn't really that motivated to make videos i got halfway through making this thing and then just ditched the video so yeah so now that I'm in a bit of a better place motivation-wise, I think it would be a good idea to try and tackle this build once again. Try and build all the sides. It's going to be fairly similar, but yeah, just try and complete this build, I guess. I also want to do something with the roof and hopefully get the spider killing chamber not as just a lava thing up there. Which, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, as you can see, it's literally just like water pushing the spiders into lava. It's not that good. So yeah, I do want to do a proper cool-looking killing chamber, hopefully involving TNT because... I mean, this is TNT Town after all. So yeah, I just want to kind of improve this whole build overall before we start work on the surrounding area. But I think first things first is we need to go ahead and build the rest of the walls up here because, I mean, this place is not looking super cool on the other sides, is it? So I think I'm going to get the second account on here. Not the second account. The replay mod on here. And let's do a bit of a third person time lapse. Let's build the rest of this around here. <laughs> So while I was figuring out where these brick pillars would go, I actually realized that the red nether brick at the back was two blocks too close. So I had to shift those back by a couple blocks, but that wasn't too big of a deal. Now the real problem here was this nether wart farm, because it was actually getting in the way of the design I wanted to do on the sides, which is the exact same design I wanted to do on the front. And it just quite simply wouldn't fit, so I had to go ahead and demolish the whole nether wart farm. Now I think it's about time we start work on the main construction of this building. Alright, and there we go. All four sides are finally built of, you know, the part we've already designed. But we need to design a new section for up here because, well, if we come around to the front, basically, that's just a window. And we can't really put that on the other side. Mm, yeah, that's not really the best view in there, is it? So we're going to have to figure out something else for that one. I'm really struggling to come up with something, if I'm being totally honest. I don't know what we could do as a backdrop there. You know what? I think this is a task for a creative world. There we go. All right, we're in creative mode. This is a copy of the world, by the way. This is not the same world. So I can go ahead and just kind of experiment with things here, I guess. So I just started building this across because I was trying to get the block palette laid out, which, yes, this is the block palette so far. But I was just extending this out, and I really like the dynamic of this, how it just kind of goes down. This can be like a little retaining wall type thing, and then we can have 
Oh, I do like that. This kind of cramped looking type style with this going across the top with a little bit down there is way, way more fitting to what I want to achieve than what this is over here. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. This looks absolutely stupid. Anyway, we can decorate that more in future episodes. I kind of want to go for a skyscraper type thing. I might even extend this to be a sky... Oh, that could be cool. If this area is based purely around skyscrapers, I mean, it's called TNT Town. TNT City could be an appropriate name for this if we do it right. Because, I mean, look at this. That's kind of the direction it's going, right? It's nice square base. It's going up, and this could extend really high up just with windows. We don't have to put farms in everything, but if this extends up really high, that could be really awesome. All right, so I think I'm going to run with that tower idea. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of inspiration. So we are currently in a different world, and that is because we're in the Hermitcraft Season 6 world. Yeah, so I did just realize that Hermitcraft Season 6 had a world download, and although I didn't watch a huge amount of the season, I did remember seeing this. This is what I believe is called Tower Bay, and this is probably one of my favorite areas that I've seen on the Hermitcraft server. And so I'm going to take a little bit of inspiration from these, because there's some really awesome looking towers here, which by the way, this was built by Exuma, of course. And I'm not going to copy anything block for block, obviously, but I'm just going to get a little bit of inspiration and a few ideas on how to actually build this thing. So it looks like every single building has windows of some sort. I mean, it makes sense. It's a very basic thing to see. But yeah, every single building has windows. And it looks like the way the design mainly works is it has two different types of crossroads here. It has the smaller crossroad that goes across here and then the larger one that sticks out a little bit. You'll notice that on, you know, you can see it does that on this one, on that one it does it, but it has a few segments in between. And this one it has it, has a few segments in between. It does it with all of these, it looks like. This one over here, you can clearly see it. So I think that's something I definitely want to work in. So now we've got to figure out how to incorporate it into this thing here. So I think the way I want this to work is that this will sort of be the base. So I saw a video a while ago by a guy called Alpine. I'll try and link that in the description if I remember. It was a really, really good video, but basically he was talking about skyscrapers and the way they're structured. You have a bottom, a middle and a top, and they have to be very defined. Um, Exumavoid's Tower Bay didn't have a super defined bottom, but it definitely had a bottom there and a middle and a top as well. So we got to kind of try and come up with a design for a middle, I guess. Couldn't we just repeat this design a bunch? All right, so I've got a bit of a design here. Unfortunately, I will have to modify these a little bit because these are way too short. I figured that if we stretched it out a little bit, it would make it seem a lot nicer and make the building go a little bit taller and seem a bit taller as well because if you just have a bunch of horizontal streaks i feel like the building doesn't look quite as good i don't know that might just be me but anyway i've extended these up like so i'm gonna have to work on where these chiseled nether bricks go maybe like their type of thing or is it should it just be randomized mm, i don't know i don't know how i feel about it if i'm being honest Mmm, the variated definitely looks a lot better, I'd say. Yeah, the variated looks way better. It brings attention away from the fact that this is just totally flat, I think, and it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. And the best part is, is that that design actually matches up perfectly with the top of this. I didn't even intend for that. It just happened to, you know, do that, but it, do it did it and it's cool. So now I think it's just time to go ahead and start planning out the build. Which has been done, as you can see. Yeah, we've built these up by 32 blocks, if I remember correctly, from this top section here, because I did start to run out of red nether bricks, and I just built it up as much as I could afford, basically. So I think, at least temporarily, at least for now, I'm going to start to remove this little nether brick, or nether brick, nether rack thing going across here, just so we can help decorate this place a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna work on this place, give it a little bit of a makeover, I guess you could say, and yeah, I'll try and work something out, I guess. Yeah, okay, so I cleaned this up a little bit, got rid of a lot of the bits up the top there. I had to move all the string into this here, but that's all right, because there wasn't a huge amount of string anyway, if I'm being honest. Now I think we need to go ahead and kind of extend the design all the way up. Yeah, all the way up this tower. So I'm going to have to extend these up by a couple blocks each on all these sides, and then I'm going to have to build it all up. And it hopefully shouldn't take too long. I went ahead and gathered about half a million more nether bricks. So if we look in, I think this shulker, yeah. So I gathered heaps more nether bricks. So hopefully we won't run out of that. And gathering nether brick is the most boring process in the world. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start extending this stuff up, get the aesthetic design going, and then we can hopefully work on getting some of the other bits working. <laughs>
we go. Boom, it is completely done. Finally. Oh, look how cool it looks. This thing looks so solid. It's awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Now, I still, with all this up here being done, I'm not sure how I feel about this section down here. It's just so much lighter compared to everything else. And it feels like this should not be able to hold up all of this. I don't know. That being said, though, for now, we are completely done with this. Oh, my God. This whole time, I totally forgot about the front. How did I not realize that the front was just, like, not done at all? Well, I do have to say that if we come down to these shulkers, I am completely out of nether brick. You saw all the nether brick we had before. I'm completely out. I've only got chiseled and cracked nether brick left. And even then, I only have a little bit of that stuff. And if we look in some of these other shulkers, we're running pretty low on blackstone. I had to get a full nother shulker. We had a full shulker. I used all of that. And then I got a full nother shulker. And I've used most of that. And we've still got a bunch of blackstone in here. So we definitely do not have the resources to build that front up there. And in terms of getting the resources, I mean, if we come over here, you can see this is my nether fortress. That is the witch farm portal right there. So it's right behind it. If we come over here, you can see I've been slowly chiseling away at this nether fortress. Got a lot less nether brick than there once was. But yeah, as you can see, we've been digging away at a lot of this. But that's not all that I've been digging up. I've also been coming to over here, I do believe. Yeah, so you can see... This is a really good place to actually mine for nether brick because as you can see, it's one of these corridors and that goes all the way down there. So that goes all the way down to the lava level. So I can just keep digging away at this until we reach the lava level. And as you can see, I have been doing that and that's where I got the majority of the nether brick for this project here. And obviously you saw how I was mining the blackstone in that little montage thing there. I went ahead and mined out the bottom of a bastion remnant, which is actually a really good way of getting blackstone. So if we head through here, I think it's pretty safe to say that that is not a very renewable source of both the blackstone and the nether brick. It's such a pain to get. And in terms of the red nether brick, that's even worse because I need to smelt up a bunch of netherrack, which you're going to be surprised by this, but I don't have much netherrack left. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know where it all went, probably into nether bricks, but yeah, I have literally not much netherrack left at all. I don't know where it's all gone. And so I've been thinking about alternate sources for both the nether brick and the blackstone and, you know, some of the other resources in here. But, you know, the walls and all that, that's not too bad because we don't use a huge amount of those anyway. And I can just go ahead and, you know, manly, manually gather the wool, which you saw if you watched my 2020 video. That's what I was doing in the background there. I was gathering wool from some wild sheep and dying at red. And, you know, the mushroom blocks aren't too hard to come by. Concrete blocks, I got plenty of that stuff still because I just gathered a bunch of that and yeah, we've still got plenty of all of those. So that's not a real huge deal. The big deal is the blackstone in the nether brick. And if I'm gonna be using that in a lot more builds in this area, I probably want a renewable source. And you probably know where I'm going with this. The best way to get blackstone and nether brick renewably is through piglin bartering. Yeah, so I think that might be a project I want to work on in the near future because if you want to go forward with this base and start building some more buildings like this one and even finish this building, I really wanted to finish this in today's episode. But honestly, this has been recorded since the 28th. It is currently the 7th of January. So this has been going for 10 days. I've been recording this video across 10 days, which is just way too many. <laughs> yeah, so 10 days, that's quite a long time to record. I really want to get this episode out before the end of the week so I can get another one, another video out by the end of the week and or the beginning of next week. I don't know, whatever, whatever happens. So yeah, anyway, I think for the future, we want to go ahead and start working on a piglin bartering farm and as well as a gold farm. We'll also need a gold farm to yeah, power the piglin bartering. And so now today's comment of the episode is going to go to someone called Flash from the previous episode. And he writes, very cool video. I like the way you entertain your viewers. Keep going. I'm assuming you meant entertain when you said entertain. But, um, and the smiley face actually translated through. I did not expect that to happen. But yeah, the smiley face is in the book, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, thank you, Flash, for that comment. It's really awesome always to see new faces in my comment section. It's always such a cool thing to see the fact that new viewers are coming into the channel all the time. And I think that brings up an interesting point for today's episode because in my head, this episode has been an absolute mess. It's been an absolute mess to record. It's been all over the place. I haven't known what the next step I want to do yet until I actually start doing it. And it's just all over the place. So I do want to apologize if the continuity was a little bit weird in today's episode, but yeah, hopefully that was all right. But yeah, let's just chuck that right there. I also went ahead and started changing how these work a little bit. So episode 41 to 45 is along here. And then the rest of the episodes go along here up to episode 50. And then it'll start going along there. So it'll kind of go boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom type thing all across there. Anyway, I'm going to end off today's episode here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I really hope that although despite, you know, the all over the place project and we didn't really get a huge amount done by the looks of it. It's just one of those things where, you know, a lot more time goes into it than you realize. And yeah, I, I, I hope it was entertaining nonetheless. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing if you enjoyed it that much. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.